OK, guys, you've got five minutes left on the clock. Use your time wisely. Don't panic and take it out of the oven if it doesn't need to. But, of course, if you need to take it out of the oven, if you think it's cooking too fast, too long, then please do. I want to use all the time I'm given to make sure that my apples are cooked all the way through. You know, tartar sand, you've got to shake it in the oven, otherwise it'll caramelise and burn on the top of your tart or stick and it won't fall out. So I'm, you know, I'm looking at it, OK, five minutes, shake, 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 you know, another five minutes, shake, 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 and I'm just constantly checking it, making sure it's cooked, making sure the sides are tucked underneath and I'm probably fiddling with it a bit too much. I am not confident at all. My life is pretty much hanging on this tart to town, cooking right now in the oven. And all I can do is pray and hope it comes out. I spent quite a lot of time peering in the oven door because I don't know if it's going to come out of the pan and I don't know if the apples are going to be cooked. I look at my tart to tan in the oven and I see it hasn't risen evenly and it has some burnt bits on it. So I quickly take it out and I start scraping off some of the dark bits. I'm really focused on getting this right and if I stuff this, I'm out of here. So I'm leaving it, I'm looking, maybe I should pull it out and I'm sort of starting to second guess myself by the ah, oh, bugger it, pull it out. I mean, I, I know that it does caramelise and burn a bit around the edges. You know, for tartar in 45 minutes, there's no easy challenge. I just hope that I've done enough or one of those two is done worse. I pull the pan out of the oven. It didn't look that dark in the oven, under the oven lights. When I brought it out into the actual light of the kitchen, it looked a lot darker. You now have 10 minutes for your tartar tan to rest and uh, hopefully you'll be able to turn that out successfully onto your plates. When it's rested for 10 minutes, you should be able to put your hand on the top of the tart and you should be able to spin it round. This is a really important part of the whole process. If it doesn't move, it's stuck. The waiting game is the worst part because not only are you waiting to see how your dish went, you're waiting for, to be told who's going home. All that's left during the 10 minute resting time is plating up. I think it's the last thing that can go wrong. I can't wait, actually, for the 10 minutes to be up to find out whether or not it looks good. That looks fantastic. So yours is the busy. lightest out of all of ours. How's yours, darling? Mine was a bit too dark. How did you cook your apples? Um, I oh. put them in the pan, spread them. Did you cut them thinly, or...? But yeah, no, they're all even, though. So, like, mine was a bit thicker, so I cut it up. As soon as I saw Julie's beautiful tart to tan, and Aaron has perfect apples, I was starting to doubt myself. Aaron's asking us at the end of the challenge whether or not the pastry's twisting. And I say to him, I'm not touching mine until 10 minutes is up. Is yours spinning? Yeah, good, good. Yeah, yeah, mine's spinning. Mine's doing 360s. I'm nervous, I just want to follow the instructions. I put my hand on it and gently twist it in the pan. I'm so relieved the pastry is twisty. Your 10 minutes resting time is now up. This is extremely crucial. I've got to invert this dessert onto a plate. So I put the plate on top of the pan. This is the moment where it could all go wrong. So be very careful. All I can think about is, will it pop out and fall off the plate perfectly? I'm just really focused on getting this right. Your 10 minutes resting time is now up. This is extremely crucial. This is the moment where it could all go wrong. So be very careful. So I put the plate on top of the pan. And I flip it. And I'm just waiting for extra weight to fall onto the plate. And I lifted the pan. And everything had come down onto the plate. Oh, the relief, the relief. Very quick motion, flip. The tartan comes straight out off the top, so it's good, it's cooked really well. One of the apples sort of falls out, but I put that back in. 
and then I use, using my spatula, I take it off the plate and plate it neatly onto the main plate. All I can think about is those few seconds. Will it pop out and fall off the plate perfectly? shriveled apples on it. The pastry was just coming out of the ends and I went, oh my God, I am screwed. The judges will now taste your dishes one by one. If it's a good thing or a bad thing to be the first dish tasted by the judges, the stakes on this are really high. Julie, how do you think you went? I'm not quite sure how they're actually supposed to look. Um, so I'm not sure how close that is to a good one. You happy with the uh, result? There are a few things I would do differently if I was going to do it again. Uh, I would have done the caramel sauce on a lower heat and I would have turned the oven down a bit sooner so the pastry wasn't quite so dark. Thanks very much. You have to leave us to taste and deliberate. Thank you. Just listen to that. It makes a fantastic crispy sound of all those layers of pastry. Apples are soft, pastry's crisp. Mm. I think I could have had a little bit more acid. You wouldn't want to push that caramel anymore, because I think it's a little bit too close to being bitter. Um, but certainly the apple flavour is very true, and she's got some fantastic lift in the puff. When we're waiting in the room, I'm feeling a little bit anxious. Someone's going to be eliminated from the competition. My whole cookie life here at MasterChef depends on that one ta-ta. So, Linda, how did you go? I made a few mistakes. I should have tried to put more apples. Did you burn the pastry? It was burnt in a few little spots. So I tried to scrape that off, but I think it was a bit too late. So in terms of a tart to tan, it's not a good effort. Why are you so upset? The proof is in the taste of the pudding. It just has to taste great. And I think that's the most important thing, the thing that I've been overlooking the most in this competition. Thank you, Linda. Thank you. All I could think about was the fact that someone was going to be eliminated. definitely had problems. The, the top of the pastry's burnt, and yet I've got a raw, undercooked piece of pastry by the apple. The apples do look a lot more overcooked, um, and I think that's due to the way they were cut. I'm not so sure if it's actually got the same bitterness. The Julie's had that little bit of bitterness, and I don't actually think that's quite as bitter. I'm up against two amazing cooks. It is extremely important for me to get through this challenge. I'm feeling pretty confident. The tartan is, has got nice colour on it. I'm hoping that's cooked, though. The pastry is cooked. Out of the three, where do you think yours stacks up? It's up there. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying it's going to be perfect. I used all my apples. Did you burn the pastry? Yeah, it's a little bit overcooked. Probably a bit around the sides and on, so on you, the top. You burnt the pastry? I 
burnt at all. Yeah, if it's burnt, it's burnt. I don't know, I'm asking you. Um, I'm going to have a look in a minute. Did you yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's, well, it's over brown on the, on the bottom, yeah. You didn't get the sudden urge to um, blend it up and turn it into a phone? No. No, it's very you know, fine. That's, that's not me. You know, I'm... I love it, that it food. It has been. You it has been me, yeah, yeah. You know, that's, that's good food. But, you know, last night I went home and I thought a lot. A lot about food. I woke up this morning with a different mentality about the whole competition and I just, yeah, I want to cook, like, good food. I I'm not a chef. OK, Aaron, thanks very much. The hardest part is having the dish judged and knowing that my fate rests on this that I've just done and there's nothing I can do to change it. Great sound. Yeah. He's really overcooked the pastry. He's cooked the apples really well. The caramel is a touch bitter, maybe just a little bit too far. Mm. It's got a definite zing to it that I quite like. Mm. I just want to peel off the bottom layer of that puff. Mm. I need it without it, because it just... I buy that badly burned bit of toast. It's full to really has. I know that I'm on thin ice with hot blades and I'm ready for their verdict. Well, we've got to send somebody home out of this. I think we've still got a few questions to ask. So I think we should get them back in.